Hello one and all, I'm Pallyams, and welcome back to Cross of the Dutch. I mean, this is part four. And, uh, yeah, it's been good, isn't it? I mean, we've done it in our weekly uh, segments of half an hour uh, pieces. That seems to have worked out pretty well. Apparently I've not got that chest. I was pretty sure we got this chest, but, um, let's go grab it. Seeing as, uh, I would hate for the game to think we hadn't got something. Why will it not let me go to it? Am I supposed to access it from the other side or something? Maybe that was it. I don't know. That's pretty bad. Wow, that's pretty harsh language there, uh, Pierre. Pierre, of course, not known for his swearing normally, but, uh, seems to be all about it today. Ah! But we can just go down here. Easier than I thought. So where exactly are we? Okay. I think we should probably head to the shops in the middle of town, because I don't even think we, um, bothered with them properly, to be honest. I like this circles round. I wasn't sure if that went somewhere, uh, worth checking out. So, uh, the last episode was quite a, uh, tedious undertaking in a way that it was, um, a lot of chest collecting was what uh, Pierre decided was uh, on the agenda of the day. Uh, but today, I mean, hopefully we should make, be making some cool progress, really. Whoa. We heard. He's deciding to give us some grief. Yeah, you tell him, Pierre. Pierre shouldn't have to put up with all that crap from like someone who's just like a nobody. I mean, basically, what's happening here is we are just opening that we'll like I say, oh, we'll go home then. Oh uh, yeah, it's probably a good idea. And then he'll just swoop in, just take all the uh, we'll ju he'll just take all the glory basically. Um, I was not sure if he was going to uh, say anything worth uh, noting. Didn't seem that way. Oh, we don't want to go up there. We've got a bit of a journey to undertake, all the way to a room, which, um, it says uh, we haven't been, like, um, I believe that's where we went last time when we was chest collecting, and we went the wrong way. But, um, I could be wrong. So, yeah, we can swing by uh, the middle of town, and hopefully we can get some upgrades from there as well. So we're doing quite well on gold, I think. He's still at it. Oh, right, we're, we're, we've decided to stop our journey to talk to him. I didn't realise we was uh, looking to have some chit-chat, really, Pierre. Yeah. Quite conversa conversa conversationalist today. We're obviously a lot more smoother at it than me, because um, I'm getting just tongue-tied, really. Look, we've got you here. So, uh, let's see what she can offer us. If anything, she says she can get give me stuff, but um, maybe not. I mean, these are all greyed out for some reason, so I'll close it. Maybe it's because we haven't got a thing for it or something. I don't know. These are all greyed out, so obviously they could have been took from anyone. So actually, we've got nothing we can get off her. So that's a bit of a shame. So onwards and upwards, it would seem. Yeah, yeah, we uh, we uh, sure took care of that one, didn't we? So I doubt we'll we'll have a bit. I, I imagine really we're going to have a bit of a gold shortage now, as um, we already took loads of it from there. Unless it like somehow miraculously resets. Oh whoa! It looks like we could be having quite the fight. Oh, whoa. Here we go. So I don't quite remember all the power moves. I don't remember having a drop kick, that's for sure. Just 
got our uh, drop kick maneuver. Right, this is going to be like such an overused move for us. We're really bad at combat, it would seem. That drop kick is just so good. I haven't seen you perform a drop kick, we heard. Maybe you should have a go at one of them. Quite interesting to see you try to do one of them. So, yeah, I think this is where we came from. Oh, whoa. So how do we get round, exactly? Um, are we supposed to find another way round? Okay, so we go around this way, I think. Just a random bystander there. Get some uh, bits and pieces. I'm pretty sure we uh, took a look at this ship. We got a bit of dialogue off of it. So we'll do like a flank attack here. I haven't got time wired to be talking about views. What was he playing at, eh? Yeah, so we've already uh, done all this, really. So we're kind of going back on ourselves in a way. It's a bit of a shame. But you know, it's the way the cookie crumbles. I'm not sure if I got these, but I did. I'm going to just assume I've got all the chests. I think that's the best way to go about it. Based on the last episode where we just had like a real clinical display of how to like find everything. I want to go back on ourselves and just take on it if we want. I think that would be hilarious. But I don't think it's going to let us. Which is a shame. Yeah, and this goes back on ourselves. So. We'll have to just, you know, our dream is not to be. We cannot go and ambush them like I'd want to, which is a real shame. Alright, what, what about down here? No. We can't quite get in. That's a shame. Real shame. So we're going to uh, move in and uh, find out what is going on in the room. Maybe get to do some more powerful drop kicks because uh, that sure is a move to enjoy. So we've made it. Wyatt's happy about that. And we've got to find Gert. Good old Gert. And it would seem there might be some shops here as well. So we can take advantage of that. So we've got one just up here see what's uh apparently we can't buy anything which is a real shame for some reason so it's Gert Pia it's good to see you again I heard you were making quite the ruckus at the mill well you know me Pia he's known for a ruckus it's one of his favorites my my you're in a lot of trouble my friend it's because uh Pierre is quite the uh troublemaker he's uh not sure how to, you know, go out being a uh, conversationalist, you know, just go about being a bit nicer, really. That I'll be happy to provide, but I'm in desperate need of supplies. The Saxons are preventing any transport from reaching a room. I won't be able to do anything, I'm afraid. Gert, uh, I was hoping you'd come through for us, to be honest. Your companion is right. You need to wait until nightfall and strike when they are about to confiscate the new supplies. But I'm coming in. We'll see what we can do. It is exactly the way I feel too, Pierre. That's great. You need to head south on the road to a room. While there is still daylight, there you can speak to Ivan, a farmer who is keeping track of the Saxon movements in the area. Whoa. So, uh, Gert's like hooked us up with uh, his main man, Avin. But uh, apparently not really, because um, we apparently got to go based on Gert's name, and hopefully that you know that will work out for us. Yeah, go on, wide. You're going to help me out. Seems we have got a cheap. That's going to help things out a little. 
you only go this way in case the potion person uh, gives up. But I think it's basically they're all running off the same system. So if one won't let us, then another one will. So we've got to kind of go back on ourselves, I think. Yeah. It would seem to be the thing. But it's all the way. Let's see if we can locate it. Talk to Avon in the encampment. Okay, down there. Okay. So I thought it was against us, but apparently not. So we can uh, carry on on our merry way. What we need is like a uh, uh, like a tune to uh, get us all pumped up, like like Rocky montage music. That could uh, really uh, help us out, really. I feel that this like minstrel type tune is just—it's not cutting it, you know. We're not getting all angsty and um, wanting to cause a uh, be a chaos cause is what we need to be. We need to be the trouble, be the problem we want to be. Because you know, if we can uh, succeed in uh, creating quite the uh, fight. Then um, we can indeed be drop kicking till the sun comes up. Given that we're supposed to be striking at midnight, like with some sort of like Agent Forty Seven type individual. So he's Avon. We're going to ask if he's Avon, and uh, he's going to give us a bit of cheek about it. Yeah, but yeah, he's a famous Saxon. Obviously not. Gert is um, going to uh, get us in on this uh, evening fellow. Hopefully um, he's going to give us uh, some aid in terms of uh, doing this like night patrol. Oh, we have to be sneaky. Oh, I doubt we've got another stealth section. I need stealth sections. Oh, wow. We've got quite a cutscene now. Oh, I can't wait. His eyes, though. His eyes. <laughs> this game. I don't know what's it about it, but I'm just... I, I just truly do enjoy it. Like, even though it is quite mechanically basic, <laughs> the story's just got me. Even though I'm kind of, like, paraphrasing it and just going on my own thing about it, just something about it, it's just my jam. And I, I just have this, like, need to see Pierre succeed. Like, I'm living vicariously through him. Oh, well. It's night time. We're ready. We're going to be a, uh... Be the stealthiest stealther in all of the land. We've got to be more sneaky than the Saxons in order to uh, ensure that we're okay. So are we following him? Where are we supposed to go? Yeah, I was going to say, you can't just walk into it. So what was we supposed to do there? Okay, we're going to meet them. Oh, do we have to talk to them? Maybe I'm supposed to go up. I just wait for him to come back. Oh, I'm so good at this. 
If I've gone the wrong way, this is, I could have gone totally the wrong way. Okay, I'm doing well. Oh, damn it. That was a tight one. I'm, I'm getting better at it, though. But easy if I've gone the right way, of course. But I think I can go this way and it will save some time. Maybe not. Just cut a lot of the walking down though if it works. Apparently we've got to be quiet. I'm sure we can do that. I'm not known for being a loud man much. Look at that crafty dodge I just did there, that was amazing. I've already got round, it's excellent. We're nearly there. This is amazing. Do, do. And I think we've done it. Yes. Just in time, I think we had three minutes and uh, 30 seconds to spare, mate. So don't you worry about that. I'm sorry, but I am the combat king. I don't lose to anyone. Oh, damn it. Apparently I do. At least it did, um... It did put me back here, so I've got to be thankful for that, I suppose. Let's take out all the people with bone arrows. Because they suck. This is tough. Yes, I think we've done it. So why can't we interact with it then? I assume that's what we've got to do. Maybe not. Oh, maybe we have to take them all out first. That's a possibility. I think that's everyone now, isn't it? I don't know. Um, maybe I should go up here, see if there's anyone else left to kill. Ah, that's it, there's someone left still. Done it. So if we go over here then... We're all ready to go. Whoa. 
Well, we could do with some health. That's for sure. You. We did it. And we got that chest, so it's all 7 of 7 apparently. So where do we go now? We go back up, okay. So that was a tough one, but we uh, made it through. And that's all that matters. What a tough one though, eh? I wasn't expecting it to go as well as it did. Even though it was a few hiccups along the way. You know, it just turns out that, you know, Pierre is a lot more of a ninja than I first thought. I didn't have him down for having ninja-like qualities, but apparently he does. I don't think, like, ninja-like attire would uh, suit him, though. I think his beard would probably get in the way. So if we go up here, we'll see what Gert has to uh, say to us. Hopefully something uh, worthwhile. There you are. What has already spread about your actions? You really are something else. Wow. Yeah, it's going to like get all big-headed about it now and have some like big philosophical speech for him. Great. I will start crafting your sword and armor right away. I'll create a weapon that is fit a man of your size. I think uh, PA has just called you fat. Could be wrong, but I mean he has. He could talk really, can he? I don't know, he's, he's referring to your broad shoulders with Pierre, I'm just, I'm just not sure. I, I would take it as a compliment, but thinly veiled, I think, just in case. Oh look, we're having this epic cutscene now about his, like, blacksmithing prowess. Go ahead. Look at him, with his, like, amazing hammer-like skills. And here's Pierre with his new sword look. He's loving it. He's thinking like he's got his legendary sword now. He's basically like King Arthur now. Wow, we're having this like big long <laughs> cutscene which is now detailing the sword. Apparently he's got a seven foot sword. I don't know if that was meant as an innuendo, but you know, still. This game, eh? It, it just it just never ends in terms of having this comedic value to it. And just in general, just it, I'm enjoying it. I'm having fun with the game. We're going to be in to get pissed. Yay! So that's chapter five complete. Um, let's see if we can get out. Yes, we can. Apparently, we can't get everything yet. We we have not got a spin. I want to have a spin though. I don't even know which one I want. That's our spin, apparently. That's our uppercut. And that's our drop kick, I think. Yeah. It's nice to know. It's good to know. It's nice to know. Um, apparently we've got six or seven still here. That's okay, though, I suppose. That's okay. I mean, apparently we haven't finished off chapter 5 yet, we've still got to get pissed in the end. So I think we will do that before we leave off, because I, 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 I really do enjoy a good piss off, I think. That's the kind of thing I want in the game. You know, depicting, you know, Pierre having the party of a lifetime. And, uh, that should uh, be a good episode, I think. I am intrigued about this, you know, final chest, but, um... I suppose maybe it'll come later, I don't know. Let's, uh, I've noticed we've still got Wired with us. Uh, he's probably going to end up being like our henchman. Even though henchmen sound evil, I, 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 ju I just feel that, you know, Pierre's the kind of person who would have a henchman rather than a sidekick. I just feel that, you know, if we call him a, um, 
sidekick, you know, he might get ideas of all his station start, you know. Think he needs all that. We can't have that. Yep, we've got to be in. Apparently we're already like eyeing up the locals. Going on strange and everything. Well, uh, I think we can't leave off before talking to the the drunk man with the meat collection. It's Wibe. Wow, what a name. It's Wibe. He's called it ugly. Yeah, the air's just response was no quarrel. He wants no quarrel. Oh wow, we're apparently the legend of the two burly men who are beating up the knights in shitty armour. Thanks. <laughs> it's good to know that we've got a name about. Way up. The general's having a go. Whoa. He's called as an oath. We can't have that. Uh, apparently we're propped up... F oh, right. We're going to call them propped up fools. Okay. I wasn't going to have a bit of a fight, but since as, uh, we've been so kindly asked to... We can uh, show off all our skills. That wasn't hard, was it? Apparently, um, we're going to have a nice piss up and then we're going to have a whole group of people to uh, help us in our uh, plight. Yeah, he's, he's forgot all about it. He's just having a whale of his time. He's going through the cases like it's nobody's difference. Nobody's difference, apparently. Nobody's business is what I was going for, but nobody's difference. That's, that's a new one on me. Uh, sometimes words come out and I just don't even know. Uh. Apparently, Wibe's got some friends. Um, uh, that's great to hear, Wibe. Um, it's really good. But to be honest, I can't be bothered to uh, listen to any more of your gibberish. Um, we're going to call it here. And um, we'll come back to this in what I assume. It's, it must be getting close to the end now, actually, really, when you think about it. But I'm enjoying the hell out of it, and I hope you guys are too. What's Pierre been this episode? He has been... a creeping... Just Pierre the Creeping, I think we're going with. That's what he's known as. He, he went round like a ninja, having to like avoid light after light. And in process of doing so, he was able to just have about 100 fights. And he's loved it, every minute of it. In fact, you know what, that's your name actually, Pierre. Pierre is the combat causer, isn't he? He's always up for a fight. We've had about three fights this uh, episode, he just couldn't help himself. All in the name of uh, good fun, I think is what it was. It wasn't um, saving the world or anything like that. It was good fun. So yes, thank you for watching everyone, I hope you've enjoyed. And uh, stay tuned for the next one, uh, probably next Sunday as usual. We've been uh, getting through this, and uh, let me know what you want to see next, because seeing as we're getting near the end of it, it'd be cool to hear from you guys. Uh, thank you for watching, everyone, and goodbye.